Happening, guys. I'm back over at my friend, uh, my friend Justin. I don't know if you remember a couple years ago, we were at his driveway at his house and we bought like 20 bikes from him. And now he's clearing out his storage facility. Justin, there's a there's a, a story behind this GPZ 1100 that I'll never remember everything about it, but right off Jump Street, it's absolutely beautiful. Uh, what, what year is this one again? This is a 1995. It's been uh, extremely well taken care of from new, but I went through it and did a complete. 100% service starting with steering neck bearings, rebuilt the clutch and brake master cylinders, rebuilt the calipers, added Spiegler brake lines and clutch lines, um, major tune up, valve adjustment, new air, uh, new air filter, you name it. Yes. Added a throttle meister, throttle lock, Coso Apollo push button heated grips, which as you see light up to a different degree. Wow. That's the best in the business as far on a cold as I'm fall concerned. day. That's a hot. That's the best thing since Trick Bix handlebar risers and a fourth brace. I forgot the, the make on that. Um, but this thing is an absolute gem. The I tires look brand new, new on it too. Tires are new. I tracked down uh, original emblems from the European versions of these, which have GPZ in red on them. In the United States, it just said Kawasaki. It looks brand on new. Both, on both sides of the bike. Literally, the bike looks brand new. So it is absolutely immaculate. It's also got a, uh, a pigtail for the uh, battery tender. Now, the, the exhaust on this looks like it just came out of the box. Is this original exhaust? That's original factory exhaust. I also tracked down original factory hard bag mounting kit oem absolutely genuine kawasaki i have a set of factory bags for it i have a set of nos factory rain covers for the bags so, see this, and, this, and a factory uh still in the bag uh motorcycle cover for it the, 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 the rear brakes are brand new too aren't they absolutely just stunning uh, uh, that's an upgrade to the uh, turn signals isn't it yes i did put clear to Turn signals with orange bulbs on the front and rear, and a clear alternatives tail light. It just looks badass. The, th the first thing that got me about it was the color. What do they call this color? Uh, I believe it's candy persimmon red, if I remember correctly. But it's, it's just been beautiful. A while. It's either candy persimmon or candy wineberry. This is the same engine that they put in the Ninja, right? That's correct. This is basically a ZX11 motor minus the Ram Air. So it's a rocket ship, but very it's fast. It runs like an absolute sewing machine. And it's quiet. It's very stealthy. It sneaks up on people all the time. But it's an absolute rocket. This ship. is an all-day bike with the, with the bar risers. And that's what I, I set it up for sport touring. That's why I have the bags, the handlebar risers, and the heated grips, and the throttle lock. It's a gentleman's sport touring bike uh, for sure. Gentleman's Express. It's nickname. I've called it the Gentleman's Express. That's cool. I love the gold chain on there. It just pops. I and mean, that's yeah. one of the hallmarks. Oh, yeah. Brand new chain. If you're gonna have a chain, well. if you're gonna do a chain, it might it might as well be gold, right? Roger that. Roger Freaking that. beautiful. Well done. Uh, and he's got full documentation on this thing too. All the bikes I bought from Justin, he has pretty much anything you'd probably want to get for it. Manuals, everything. Owner's manual, service manual, parts manual, sales brochures, accessory, factory accessory brochures, everything. Find a nicer one, guys. <laughs> this, right. is, this, is, this thing's absolutely beautiful. Wait do you see the KLX 400R he's got with like 100 miles on it in a beautiful um, 1900 or 1800? 90, 1998 Vulcan 1500. 1500. Yep, and then some super nice ATC. So we'll wheel them out one at a time. But uh, there's no way I would have remembered everything you said that was done. Is, do we leave anything out, or is that pretty I much everything? So. I think that's about it. Gauges are beautiful. This is probably the first time it's drizzling out. We got to roll it inside. The but, original clock still works perfectly fine on the dashboard. Wow, just an absolute gem. You really, you really took good care of it here. It really needs nothing. But we'll just, uh, you know, put a turnkey. Doesn't even need a coat of wax. It's done. <laughs> yep. Beautiful job. This next one Justin has really caught my eye last time we were there for a couple different reasons. Well, this is an R version, which is the pretty much off-road only originally, right? Correct. How, how did you get this thing street registered? Because that's no, no easy task in the state of Connecticut. So this is an 03 KLX 400R. They made an SR, which is a street legal version, but that wasn't it. Uh, we added a Baja Designs street legal kit to it. And um, I still registered in Vermont. Vermont, yep, yep. Because Connecticut's just notoriously bad for getting stuff registered. But um, I actually spent a lot of money and time putting on all genuine Kawasaki dashboard components and handlebar components. So these are Kawasaki mirrors, perches, all the handlebars, no whatever. No China junk on here. <laughs> for the SR. Yeah. Grips, bar ends, everything. Wow. So just here alone, I probably spent three or 400 bucks. Wow. This has uh, maybe 100 miles on it. It's essentially it brand new. Owner. It's basically brand new. It's brand new. Um, Look at it. There's not a scratch on the swing arm, not a scratch on it. It's beautiful. 
the original owner bought it and uh, just never used it. He owns a car dealership and he's got a zillion toys and never did anything about Sa it. But. Sadly, Baja Designs doesn't sell these kits anymore. So this is like a kind of a uh, rare piece, the LED tail light and everything. They, they, uh, I don't know why they got out of the market, but um, Baja Designs doesn't make these kits anymore. So you got a rare bird here. Correct. It's uh, absolutely mint. It fires right up, no problems. Runs like a sewing machine, just like all my bikes. And uh, look at the and, forks uh, are perfect. No complaints the, at all. The, R, the R model had the better suspension. The the the, the street model yeah, didn't. I think, didn't yeah, have I the, think I, I I agree. I think it's got better off road suspension, a little more cushy, and uh, I mean the clutch is just like butter on this thing. And, and did you put the DOT tires on there? Uh, the that was zones? with the with the Baja Designs kit. Yeah. Okay, and with it, yeah, the package. The legal tires. You can see you got no no miles on them. They perfect, like perfect. What a beautiful piece. Did you have to do do any jetting or changing it on the pipe or is it pretty much stock? No, it's original exhaust, totally stock. Wow, very nice. And uh, fires right up, sounds great. I don't know if you want me to fire it up. Sure, but. that's a bigger tank on this than than, uh, than what, um, is that the stock tank? No, this is stock, Every, yeah. Fires right up, starts through the whistle. That's quiet too. What kind of fuels in there? Uh, I only run VP uh, uh, ethanol free fuel and all my stuff, so that's the why motor, I fired right up. The GPZ, this, that's all I You're run. not going to need car cleans because with VP you go 10 years, we need the only need to car clean ever. Absolutely. I pulled bikes out of barns, literally, I beat you that 10 years, and they fire right up. Yeah. The new fuel, I don't know if it's a government conspiracy or what, but every bike I, I find that's got ethanol in it, two years later, cars are like gum. Oh, not even. I mean, you know, I just learned my lesson by having mostly carbureted machines. And if, if you go more than a month, month and a half without starting, starting it, you're going to already start have sputtering. And if you go six months, it's not going to start. It's cheap insurance, really. Without a doubt. So that's basically brand new. What a winner. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. So this Vulcan here, th there's a story behind this one, too. Um, had something to do. Didn't your dad have one of these or something, if I remember yeah. correctly? So my dad had a 94. Um, he loved the bike. Absolutely loved the bike. He got run down on it, uninjured, and went back two years later and ha did a locate on another 94 because he loved the color and the combination he had on it. And then it, he willed that to me. I rode around and, and enjoyed the heck out of it. And uh, I got rid of it foolishly. And then uh, I started looking for another one, and I found this one brand new in the crate in a private collection. Justin, it's beautiful. And uh, Brand new in the crate. Brand new in the crate. In what it was year? Assembled in 2017. It's got 2,111 miles on it. And you put all, every mile on it, right? I put every mile on it, and I have found every single factory accessory ever made for it, which is like 30 or 40 accessories. These floorboards for the passenger. I've got the front ones. It's all branded the Vulcan. Crash bar. Everything's got yeah. There's no no China stuff on this. Got this the is all Japanese. Head bar. I, I, uh, uh, the rear rack, the backrest, every dude, I've got boxes on them still that, unfortunately for Ken, he gets to install on those because I'm not gonna. But you know the the um the the fit and finish on this thing, the paint job is freaking beautiful, man. She's a well, beauty. What, what do they call it, this color? Do you know? I don't know. I it's don't like know. a dark, dark, like a, almost like a black and, and burgundy, and dark burgundy with gold. When the light hits it, I mean, I can wheel it out and get it. We can get a better look at her, but uh, when the light hits it. Especially the sunlight, it You've almost looks like a, a little bit of a brown, like a, a root beer color into it. Your main, your main rider, uh, which was in the last video we did, you've got like major money tied up on that one. The ZRX, you got the that thing's completely built. Yeah, I've got twenty five to thirty grand into it. It's got carbon fiber wheels, custom swing arm. You, you know, I'd love it. to do a, a, a video just on on that bike. N n you know, oh, well, it's a lot cleaner than the last time you saw it. That was the only bike that I had that wasn't really clean. It needed well, well, details. You're riding that one, so. Since then, I have. So. Let me, let me get the doors closed. Just beautiful. This is as close to brand new as you're ever going to find one of these. And, and in fact, you found one brand new in the crate so that's just remarkable yeah, if there's any private, any kawasaki collectors collector in, in rhode island he had a bunch of super collector cars and a bunch of incredible bikes most of them had zero miles on them and he passed away and his son and wife uh sold it to me just beautiful absolutely beautiful so uh which items were kawasaki uh uh catalog parts on this so this top piece um, these crash bars, these chrome pieces here, uh, 
the backrest, this, the floorboards, all these covers. There's chrome covers on the calipers and the and the uh, drivetrain. Everything. Those was are it, all was it dry shaft chrome? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Dry shaft was chrome. The but horn, like is I that said, Hornet, uh, a Kawasaki item? No, that's that's a stock. Room. But there are tons more. Like I said, I've got the three light, the three bar headlight, and multiple more accessories. Are these, are these original? Cover. The braided stainless lines? Yes. Wow, right from the factory? Yeah. Beautiful seat, too. Paint job's beautiful. This is the first time it's ever seen a little drizzle probably since you bought it, right? Yeah, no, it's killing so me better right now. Let's bring yeah. it in the trailer. I'll wipe it down just, real just quick. That's some brand new terry cloths. When we get it cleaned up, dry it off. All right. Just a beautiful piece, Justin. I have the one on the left set up with the tie downs in there. Oh, well, I'll be out. <laughs> <sighs> right, go to my wiper down first. Yeah. Well, it's a little bit light here. Yep, yep. Justin, every bike I bought from your collections has had impeccable maintenance, and you just did some work on this one too, didn't you? So, yes, I did a, uh, a full service on it, changed the oil and filter, changed the drive shaft oil, um, did a complete flush of the cooling system, and refilled that. And, uh, New air filter, new spark plugs, etc. So in a new battery too, she's right? She's absolutely ready to go. And I I just added a brand new Shore Eye uh, lithium ion battery that was like three hundred and forty dollars. So like all the rest of your assets that are you, you didn't cut any corners at all. Brand new battery, all the fluids are changed. Um, the only thing left that will do is change the hydraulic clutch fluid and the hydraulic brake fluid in the front there. That's it. She'll be ready to prime time and maybe put some of the accessories on there that you have for it. What a beauty. Thank you. Next one up is a really sweet ATC 70. What year is this one, Justin? Uh, I believe it's a 79. It might be a 78. Um, it's it's seen some nieces and nephew time, and uh, I did a complete rebuild on the motor, and it also has a new pull start on there. Nice. Um, just a quick service, and this thing will be a gem and last for another 30 years or these, 40 years. These are pretty much bulletproof. There's not much I can break on them. It has the most reliable engine, four-stroke engine probably ever made, right? Absolutely. The Honda 70, you cannot kill them. This will clean up like a new penny. Wait do you see this thing shined up, guys. Probably paint the rims on it. Those are the original tires on there, too, aren't they? Those are original O2 tires. Um, it, it's amazing that a couple of them are still holding air, but... A, you know, three new tires and a tune-up and a, a detailing, and this thing will be a gem. What are we, uh, 10 weeks from Christmas? Does it look good under somebody's Christmas tree, Absolutely. huh? Absolutely. So this would be the ultimate Christmas present for a kid, or a big kid like me. Now, this is this is something uh, any kid would be happy to have under the tree. This is a rare bird, too, isn't it? So this is a 1978 ATC 90, the final year of production. Um, I've got some original paperwork on this, owner's manual, service manual, all that stuff like I have for all my machines. I think I actually might have the original bill of sale from the dealership. Wow. Um, Just love the graphic on it. Isn't that cool? Very cool. Very vintage. It's got three brand new tires on it. Still have Let's the nipples on them. Um, I like was, the rack on the back. You could use this around a farm. It's got a little hitch on the back too. Absolutely. And, uh, you know, they're very hard to kill. Again, I had this uh, running and riding last fall at my friend's house who has a giant yard and we had a big bonfire going and everybody was just having fun. It's also got a dual range transmission on it. Oh wow, it. I didn't so know that. it's got high and low on it and uh, just a fun, fun machine. Uh, it looks like it's got some bar risers yeah, on there. Yeah, I so put some bar risers on it because I'm a big guy and my knees were, were hitting the bars a little bit, but that's not factory, but they that's work That's an great. original Honda mud flap on there, isn't it? Yes, it is. That's, that's a rare piece right there. Wow, the motor looks mint. Yep, so this These had, are the original plastics on here too, right? The original plastics. They look brand new. Unbelievable. And, That's original uh, paint on, and everything? Yep. Wow. Absolutely sure. remarkable. It looks it looks uh, like you took really good care of it. How long you had this one for, Justin? Uh, I don't know, 10 or 12 years anyway. That was a good find. I mean, none of your, I mean, you haven't had a single in your entire... This is the second collection we bought from Justin. I think we got 10 today, right? Yeah, 10 or 11, I think. So, and then uh, we'll be coming around for a third collection, I think, when you're ready, right? Yes, sir. So, it's time to thin out the herd and narrow it down so it can all fit in my garage. You've, you've been working too many hours to enjoy them working for the state, right? Yes, sir. I work Bur doubles most days. Burning a midnight oil. Look at this thing. Even the graphics are nice on it. What a cool piece. Another premium Christmas present for somebody. Justin, there's a trick to starting these. There is a key, right? Yeah, so this is a little switch for the headlights, the front and rear headlights. But to get it to run, you always have to have it on at least low beam or high beam. 
but otherwise you'll be pulling all day long and it won't start unless you flip that little switch. Good to know. And since you run VP, it'll probably fire right up when we get it back. If not, a little carb clean should be good to go. Hopefully, fingers crossed. Amen. So this next one is a really sweet looking ATC 70 and depending on who you ask, this is the most collectible of all the ATC 70s, isn't it? 1985 is the most desirable. 73 the first year is pretty collectible, but this is the, this is the holy grail. They usually do big money on eBay, even for ones that are kind of roaches. Well, why the 85? What's, what's particular about this one? Final year of production and the only year with a blue seek. So it pops. Kind of like the, uh, I have the, uh, uh, the gold rim ATC, uh, I, mean, I mean Z50, the, the one with the gold oh, rims. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was an 86 though, wasn't it? It's chrome rims. I have one with yellow rims. I'm gold rims. I'm sorry, oh, gold rims. Just picked it up is. from a collector. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Eighty six, the red one. I was thinking yeah, of the, the red. Christmas edition. Uh, no, yeah, those yeah, are yeah. really hard to come up. Yeah, those are rare too with the gold rims. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that would look nice right next to this one. So this one's in really nice shape. It's all Again, original too. That's all original plastic. Totally plastics, original. Right? Uh, it's even wow. got the original O2 tires. Unfortunately, they're shot. So new tires and a tune up. And I do have an NOS grab bar for it. That will freaking be included. awesome. Nice, nice. Uh, those are getting hard to come by, aren't they? Yes. Incredibly and the chrome's nice on it. All the parts for these are very hard to come by. And this is all original. This thing's right down to the tires. It's just remarkable. Yeah, totally original. Wow. How long and you had this one for? 15, 18 years, yeah. something like that. Wow. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I always dreamed of having a, a fleet of young boys to have all my minis to ride. Dirt bikes, three-wheelers, quads, everything. But no such luck. So. Well, we're, we're going we're gonna to find a new home for them. There'll, there'll be uh, no shortage of... Uh, of uh, Big kids and little kids who want to ride this one. This is, like I said, there's a cult following of adults that race these. Uh, they put 140 kits in them and long swing arms, and it's unbelievable. They raced at our compound and at the at the mill. But uh, they're just this one needs to stay bone stock. 19. Absolutely. This is oh, 85. It's almost 40 years old. So remarkable to find one in this shape. Well done, Justin. Here's another rare bird here too. So this is mind my memory, but it's either an 84 or an 85. Yamaha YT60 Tri-Zinger. I love the color. Um, you know, these are these are just getting hard to find. This is fully automatic, two-stroke, fun little uh, fun little machine. Um, you know, with again all of them with new tires and a, and a tune-up, these things will be great. There's a couple of companies that make complete aftermarket reproduction decal kits that are exact. Perfect. And uh, we'll put the sticker kits on, you know, front, rear, and sides, and, the, and it'll be great. How long you had this one? Again, probably 15 years, something like that. Yep. And you got the twin to it uh, over here, the uh, yes, I do. yellow twin. So like I said, I believe one's an 84 and one's an 85, but I'm not positive anymore. But Th these are two-stroke, right? These are two-stroke 60s. Very and, cool. And uh, full start and fully automatic. They, they even look like the like uh, the colors of Christmas. Look at these things. How, how would any kid not be thrilled to see one of these uh, rolling out of the trailer Absolutely. for their birthday? Or, or so, yeah, I'll tell you this, memorable occasions are, are uh, some of the most memorable, memorable parts of my life were getting my GT80 in 1972. You know, uh, you look back, that was 50 years ago. I remember it like it was today. There, if you want to create memories with your family, Nothing like motorcycles and, and ATCs to do it, that's for sure. My brother and I were lucky enough to walk downstairs one morning on Easter Sunday and had a brand new Z50 sitting in the living room. And that was 47 years ago, 46 years ago, and been riding ever since. And it started a lifelong, really caught the bug. Li yeah, <laughs> lifelong passion. That's awesome. Can't wait to get these go uh, fired up and riding them around. Justin, now... You're a man of means. You're on eBay all the time. You know how to sell stuff yourself. Why did you choose to to have us handle this project for you? So I'm, you know, a very very busy guy. I work incredible amounts of hours, and when I sell stuff, to have every knucklehead in the world coming and kicking tires and you know trying to lowball you is just it's just too much of a hassle for me. The fact that I know not only that the museum is going to take a large amount of bikes at once, and I still have quite a few. Um, I know that they're going to get them running again and serviced, and some lucky kid is going to be out there riding it, which brings a lot of you know a lot of joy to my heart, to be honest with you. So I was just looking in the trailer right now and I had a smile on my face seeing all the little three wheelers lined Absol up like absolutely. that. Absolutely. And uh, there's going to be some happy kids this fall. 
No doubt. I mean, how, how many phone calls do you think you would have got if you put these on Craigslist oh, or, or Facebook or eBay? It, it would have been hundreds and, oh, let me help you sell your bike for you and every other night. How hard is it, what, was it to sell them to me? <laughs> I think we talked for about half an hour after I described each bike and we shook hands and it was a thumbs up. Yep, thing. yep. We, we were, uh, <laughs> I think you knocked off 100 bucks per bike off your asking price, right? Something that, like that. Yeah, so it was a no-brainer. Easy peasy, quick deal, uh, one shot. To sell 10 bikes, you probably would have literally had hundreds of people humping your leg and driving you crazy and lowballing you and want to trade trade a trade a, a snowmobile and a boat and plus there's safety, <laughs> there's safety issues involved too. You know, you got police departments in every town now allow you to do a transaction in their parking lot for a reason because people get mugged and robbed and everything oh, yeah. else by doing a cash a large cash transaction at their house. There's so. a reason there's a 357 Magnum in my truck. That's right. Today, these days, you know, you hear all kinds of crazy stories of people getting shot and murdered over, you know, sneakers, let alone let, 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 let alone a They'll let alone a, a, of a you know, one money. of these. I mean, you could definitely uh imagine what the, what someone would do to you for for a collection like this, man. But yeah, we make it safe and easy, quick and painless. And uh, the best part about it is each one of your bikes, after it's fully restored, you're gonna see the video of it. It'll be permanently on eBay. So, I mean, on YouTube, the, the, if you want to see them, they'll be on there running. I can't tell you, you know, I, I would be lying if I didn't look back on the previous video and look at some of my bikes and think about them and it puts a smile on we, my we face. We did a video so. just like this at your last, and I think I had like 175,000 views. And then, and then each one of the videos, each bike of the ten bikes, we did a video, and and it, it creates like a, um, it, it's it's video a video archive. Yeah, and, and and people will look at these bikes when they're done and restored, and it gives them something to shoot for, you know, like that they pull one out of a barn in pieces. Like I'm actually buying a basket case. Where is that one? Uh, this one right here. I'm buying this JR50 in pieces. Somebody buys one like this, and they don't know what it's going to sound like when it runs, and 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 then then when it then when they when they see it done, it I think it motivates people. Yeah. You know, it's about inspiring people to get off the couch and get, get back on their bikes, right? Without a doubt. And when it's done, it's going to look it, just like look, this. It'll look like this complete machine here. And it'll be beautiful. Um, this one I'm saving for my godson. So. That's cool. And you got to, yeah, we might be buying this Polaris Quad if, if your girlfriend decides to sell it. Um, I was talking to, to Christy, we want to get something like this for her because we live on the farm. So if this comes up for grabs, this would be perfect for her. So this is a 2018 that I bought new for my girlfriend. Uh, we took it out two weekends, once in Pennsylvania and once in Maine, and it does not even have a dink on one of the rims. It's you know it's a little dirty right now, but it's absolutely immaculate. This is automatic transmission, four stroke too, right? Yes, it is. Forward sure. and reverse. So if you can drive a car, you can get on this thing and go. You put it in forward and go. You don't have to be because she doesn't ride a motorcycle, so. That's why I figured a quad would be good for oh, her. Oh, yeah, absolutely. If you decide to part with us, I would definitely, uh, this would be perfect for her. She's a little 120-pound blonde girl, so I don't think anything bigger than her 200 might be a handful, you know? I think she'd really enjoy it. My girlfriend absolutely had a blast on both weekends we went out, so. That's cool. We just don't have any free time, unfortunately. Yeah, let, let me know on that one. All right. That's a beautiful piece. What's the scoop with this one? This is this is one that, now he's, Justin has, guys, Justin has not a house with a two-car garage full of bikes, and he's got two heated buildings full of bikes. This is airflow. So, and this piece here is absolutely stunning. I've never seen one before in black. So this is a 1985 Kawasaki KLT 160. It's shaft drive and has reverse. And this is probably one of the nicest in the country. I actually shipped it out from Minnesota when I found it. It looks brand new. Uh, yeah, it's it's an incredible condition. The original tires, I mean, look how much tread is still it's on still these tires. It's still got the hairy nubs on it. So it's uh, absolutely a beautiful machine, and you know someday I'll let I'll let go of it. But I've got a couple of real gems that I'm, I'm hesitant yeah, this to is a let keeper. go so far. The graphics, the paint, everything on it, just it's badass. It's black, very cool. And this was the tail end of when they were making them too, right? Absolutely. This was a one year only model, and uh, you know Kawasaki didn't make them till '87 when they were all banned. But they only made a couple of machines that late. But what year is this one? This is a 1985. And this was meant to compete with the ATC 200, and they did a couple of cool things, like add reverse and shaft drive, which ATCs were chain drive and no reverse. Makes so. it bulletproof. Except Zero maintenance. Like yeah. Just change oil. Yeah, and it's absolutely bulletproof. Oil so. and oh, and it's got electric start. Very cool. That, that's no one here. That's a keeper. Yep. yep. So that, that's this pile of parts in the other room. Um, that's what this is going to look like when it's, when it's done. Justin was going to restore that one, but he's been working too many double shifts and hadn't had the time, so we're going to take it. And stay tuned because we'll have this thing up and up and running in no time. Absolutely. 
so here we have a 1986 Yamaha Big Wheel 80. Uh, I did a fairly significant restoration on it about 10 or 12 years ago. And uh, it's never been ridden. It's had a completely rebuilt motor unit using only Yamaha parts. Even a new crank, pistons, cylinders, everything. The motor looks brand new, Justin. It is. Uh, it's got an NOS exhaust, NOS chain guards, NOS tank, which alone is probably worth six or seven hundred dollars. Where are you gonna find one of those? NOS oil tank, handlebars, grips, perches, levers, and so, brand so, new in the bag, an NOS so, seat. So what isn't brand new on it? The frame? Uh, the forks maybe. Uh, the the, the forks, forks and the swing arm. The forks, the swing arm, and the tires, because the chain and sprockets are new. The chain guides are new, the motor's brand new, the carb's new, the tank's new, that's new, the bar's new. So you got basically the swing arm frame and, and wheels. Yep, that, that you were... NOS carburetor has never had fuel in it, neither has the tank or the oil tank. So this wow. thing is turnkey and ready to rock. Well, good timing, we just we just have a 350 that we bought in that we're redoing, so it'd be pretty cool to get them both done and, and show them oh, together. Oh, you got a 350? I got a 350, Those which are is really cool. the big dog, the biggest one they made. And uh, let's see here, somewhere, hold on, pause. <laughs> pause. Oh my God. So this actually comes with, these are reproductions. They're very good reproductions made by DC. Um, I was never able to find the front fender. I found the rear fender and searched for 10 or 15 years for the front and never found it. And then I was offered $700 for the rear fender. So I let it go and bought two reproductions. But this thing will look brand new and run absolutely brand new. Yeah, Christy can uh, do the so graphics for it, no problem. Yeah, or, or they sell the complete kit. You know, Yamaha uh, Yama your... Top Dog. Yama Top Dog. Yep. Online.com. Yep. yep. Very cool. Awesome. This thing will be brand new when it's done. What do we leave off? So, uh, again, this has got new foot pegs, the new foot peg bar, new kickstand, new gear shifter, all the components, are new petcock, completely new air box. Everything on this is new, again, except for the swing arm and the frame and I guess maybe the forks. This seat, I'll take it on the bag. You said it's a three-speed too, right? NOS, absolute gem. And uh, yes, this is a three-speed semi-automatic two-stroke, so they're an absolute blast to ride. Wow. Very cool. So that's basically the same motor that would have been in a GT80, right? I yes. Think. Yep. So these are the absolutely... TW80 as well. Ex when I say these are bulletproof, we would ride ours until it ran out of gas, so we bring it back. And pull. The only thing that would ever happen, the chain would fall off every couple of weeks. We rode the wheels off of ours. They'd even started backwards one time. It, I had it in gear and was rolling down a hill. I didn't know that it would, I let the clutch out and it started in reverse. These things are the most indestructible motor, two stroke motor I think ever made in the history of motors. They're just absolutely bulletproof. And again, new handlebars, new cables, new perches, new levers, new throttle assembly, new switches, everything. This is, I mean, it's- All NOS Yamaha, no aftermarket Taiwanese, even Chinese Even the nuts stuff. and bolts are genuine Yamaha. Even the hardware holding on, yeah, like the, uh, the little uh, pan head screws and everything. Just remarkable. Yep, she'll be a beauty when she's done. Stay tuned for this video, guys. This will be probably one of the nicest BW80s on the, uh, in the country when it's done, right? I would think so. Unless someone had one new out of a box, right? There's a guy I know that, that bought the rear fender from me that was restoring a 1990 out west. But other than that, this is probably one of the nicest. Wow. What do you recommend for tires on, on them? Um, they, they actually make... Uh, I think it's, is it Dunlop? I'm not actually sure, but there is a company that makes tires that do fit it. Look at a fresh set. One. What else is brand new on it? So these chain guards, absolutely tough to find. This is an entirely new engine cover. The petcock, the choke, the carburetor, the entire airbox, and then the motor itself was a complete rebuild by two-stroke cycle and sled. And when I tell you it was rebuilt, I replaced the crank, the transmission, the cylinder head, the cylinder, everything. Uh, pistons, obviously, rings, the whole deal. But when I was restoring it, I was so, and it ran and rode when I when I brought it to him. But I, I was just so adamant about making this as mint as I could that that's what I did. So you're not gonna, you know, I mean, if you really wanted to get crazy, you could you could take off the swing iron powder coat or oh, whatever. Oh, we will, but, we will. <laughs> oh, there you go. In the rims too. But yeah. you're gonna have an absolute gem yeah. here when it's done. Yeah, no doubt. I mean, it, it'd be a sh it'd be a sh crime not not to not to finish it perfectly, you know. You've done so much good work here. We're just, we're just going to put the icing on the cake. That's it. I can't wait to see it. It's going to be a beauty. So we're also buying a leaf blower. Brand new. Still got the tag on it. What's the scoop of this one? So I bought this last fall uh, to use at my girlfriend's house. And uh, never got around to using it. I have a backpack leaf blower from Steel that uh, was able to cover the job. So 
It sat here for a full year. It's never had fuel in it. It's an eight horsepower Honda motor. And again, you know Hondas, Honda motors, you cannot kill them. This thing will last for 40 years. If you've seen how much leaf removal we do, we do videos on it every year. It's massive quantities of leaves. So this will come in handy on the hillsides for sure, where the, that we have a big Ferris drive, drive on leaf blower. That this will this will be an excellent companion to that. So thanks. Yeah, you know when we go to do a pick like this, if there's a tractor or a, a trailer or something, that's all I got the trailer we have here. One of my friends is closing a shop, so Justin said he wanted to see this go too, and uh, that was an easy decision to make. So the boys will have some fun, as I will with this. Uh, clean. These are good for cleaning out the parking lot too. Without or if there's a doubt, a, without a doubt, you clean up your parking lot in seconds. If we thing. if we roost the driveway with the CR500 like I did earlier today on Two Stroke Tuesday, <laughs> this is perfect to blow the dirt right off. Awesome. Thank you. All right. Oh, you better watch out. You better not cry. You better not pout. I'm telling you why. Kaplan Claus is coming to town. How can you not be in the Christmas spirit with this stunning collection of classics? One, Justin, just gets keeps getting better here. These are all the, the accessories for the Vulcan, right? Wow. So what do you got here? I have, again, every single accessory ever made for the bike. Um, I even tracked down the original factory windshield, which is right here. And this is the factory light bar, which is a three light bar. It's a full kit. Uh, and this, believe it or not, I even tracked down the original factory alarm system for it. It was made by another company, but this is a genuine Kawasaki part number. And uh, just incredibly rare. You see, there's a whole bag. Those are all factory accessories for this bike. All Kawasaki accessories. All with instructions on the packaging and everything. So it's pretty easy to deal with. And, and there's a rack down in here. That's the correct rear rack for it, yep. Wow. And you have, now you, you, you have, do have a couple of non Kawasaki accessories, which are the really nice and on the cake, and those are the Cobra exhaust, right? So I have these these switch covers for the left and right side that are chrome. Those are Kurakai or however you ex explain it. Yeah. And I have a factory new, genuine Cobra exhaust slash cut exhaust system and a Cobra jet. Kit which for your it. pops had the same thing on his bike, That's didn't right. he? That's right. And it sounded great, so I figured I'd track one down, which I did. That's awesome. Even Can't though the original exhaust is beautiful. We'll have to have the wizard put that on there. Give it the wizard tune. All right. This is the brand new Cobra exhaust in the box here with the uh, Cobra Performance, high performance jetting kit. So, in the, now, when this was brand new, wasn't there a magazine article saying about it was the most torque of any factory? So in either Motorcyclers or Cycle World, it said it had more torque than any motorcycle made up until that year. Out of the box. And I believe it actually says it on the original brochure, which is included with the bike. Yeah, you got all the docks on it and everything. Full, full provenance. Freaking awesome. Just un unbelievable. This will be a really cool project. Can't wait to can't wait to get it uh, and all dialed Most in. of the stuff other than the exhaust and the jet kit are really quick bolt-on accessories. And, yep. you know, you can turn turn it into a gem in two seconds, even though it's a beautiful bike anyways. That's fantastic. Adding all this stuff would take a couple hours and be a lot of fun. Yeah, absolutely. In this box, he's got the k and air filter for the Vulcan, the manual, um, the, the original Vulcan. Uh, got the original owner's manual, service manual, and the front uh, driver's floorboard kit, which is right here. It already has the rear kit on there. So there's two flavors of the floorboards. There's the, uh, uh, this is a Kawasaki, and this one says, what? Um, Original fire and steel fire accessory and steel. from Kawasaki, which these are too, but these are the better ones and probably should be the ones that get Yeah, those stolen. are really cool, and those are matching ones on the rear. Correct. Freaking awesome. And with that K&N and in the, the, the pipes in, in, the, in the jetting kit ought to really waking it up too. Without a doubt. Justin, how do you feel about letting them all go? So, I was telling you a minute ago that it's it, because of how ridiculously much I work and how little free time I have, it's become more depressing for me than anything to walk out and open up my garage and seeing all these bikes that I love to ride and love to work on and not being able to do either. So they've been sitting around a little while and you know I open the door and I get bummed out but having you guys purchase them, 
tune them up, put new tires on them, and knowing that some little kids are going to be super happy in the next month or so. There's going to be at least seven uh, real happy uh, kids with ATCs under the tree, you know? and they're back on the trails, and they'll be good for another They don't make them years. anymore. So, so not, They haven't not, made them since 1987, and but they're so reliable. All three manufacturers, they're, they're just bulletproof. So And there's a lot of guys that want to buy these for their kids and share their love for ATCs with their with their kids or, or their grandkids, you know? Without a doubt. So. Yeah. Very cool. This is putting a smile on my face. Awesome. Thank you. And thanks again. Always a pleasure Thank dealing you, with brother. you. You should see the stack of uh, literature. He's had like all the brochures, all, all the Owner's manuals, manuals, service manuals, parts manuals, sales brochures, accessories brochures. Every time every time I get a call from you that you have more bikes, I'll say, yes, sir. I'll be right there. <laughs> Multiple magazines <laughs> with articles on each of the bikes. Yeah. Absolutely. Thank you so. once again. It was a pleasure. I really enjoyed spending the time with you today. I look forward to seeing you again. All right, brother. You Th too. Thanks for watching, everybody. And as always, God bless the United States of America. Roger that.